back on the 2022-23 Big West Men's Basketball Preview Show brought to you by BuyB1.com with Richie Schuler. I'm Tim Neverett. Time to take a look at the team that was voted fifth in the Big West Coaches Poll. That is the UC Riverside Highlanders, coached by Mike Magpio. And Richie, this is a team that boasts a very, very experienced backcourt. You've got to figure that the guards are going to be their strength this season. Yeah, and Coach McPyle had a full staff changeover this offseason, so consistency among the players is huge. Six returning players coming back. You just said a lot of their perimeter player all uh, perimeter players, I should say, all return. Uh, their leading returners happen to be their ball handlers, their point guard, their shooting guard, their small forward, and Zion Poland, who's a really – I like him as a point guard. He's about 6'4". 200 so he's got size he's efficient he's an all-conference guy high assist to turnover ratio and can really score the basketball he's a terrific player Flynn Cameron is a shooting guard from New Zealand he's a lefty three-point shooter for them who had an excellent year as well and then Will Tattersall who's six seven on the wing you see they got a lot of length in all these spots he's another guy that can really come off screens another Australian and knock down some three-point shots. So they're talented. I like what they've got coming, too. They've got three Division I transfers, uh, all coming from Los Angeles as well. So they got some of the local players uh, in Highlanders uniforms this year. Local players, guys from New Zealand, guys from Australia. So where do they go to play this summer? Australia. They did. They took a foreign tour to Australia. That gives you 10 more practices. So that gives you an opportunity to get a head start on most anybody else that's not doing those. So, you know, good for them. They've got they've always had a high recruiting influence in uh, both New Zealand and Australia. And so and it's an opportunity for them to probably see some players as well as compete against some with their current squad. Well, the team went 16 and 12, nine and six in Big West play, made it to the Big West quarterfinals. This is a team that is got some high hopes here at number five, no question. And as they should. I mean, this is a program that's had three straight winning seasons, even dating back before Magpile took the job. So he does talk about, though, this year he feels like he's got the most challenging schedule since he's been head coach, and uh, he really wants to prepare his team to potentially win a Big West championship on the way to uh, conference play starting in January. Well, Mike Magpile will share his expectations with our Molly Sullivan when we come back on the Big West Men's Basketball Preview Show. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1 Patch. Power isn't born, it's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse-pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA Tournament. Get the best seats in the house at HighlandersTickets.UniversityTickets.com or call 951-827-4653. What a finish! Big expectations for the UC Riverside Highlanders. Head coach Mike Magpio had a chance to visit with Molly Sullivan. You had a busy offseason. Let's start with that. It's bigger than basketball. Congratulations uh, is in order for sure at, at your home team. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Caroline, my wife, is holding down the fort. Uh, but two's, she's, she's closing it down. I'm one of five kids. She's saying she's done with two. 
because uh, it's hard, you know. But we're still man to man right now. It's it, it, it's going well. Uh, Luca and Milo are both under two years old, but um, we're blessed beyond belief. Yeah, we're we're in early October here, so you've got a four month year old, uh, which is amazing. Caroline, obviously, UC Riverside alum as well, so it's in the blood there. We love that. Uh, yeah. Let's get to business here, Coach. You have perhaps the toughest slate of any Big West team prior to conference play. I don't have to tell you that. Uh, what's going through your mind when you when you glance and scan the schedule? Yeah, I, I saw. I do the scheduling, obviously, and I, I looked back at it when the schedule was released. I was like, what was I thinking? But it is definitely, absolutely the most challenging schedule I've ever put together. And I've done scheduling for 12 years. Um, and this one, usually, you know, you try to schedule wins. In this case, I went with scheduling uh, to prepare us for the Big West season and Big West Conference Tournament. So it is challenging. There is no doubt about it. But we do you know my North Star and our main mission this year is to get to the final game at the Dollar Loan Center. And I think this schedule will prepare us for that. And our guys, I always talk to them. Along the way, mainly our starting guards and Flynn Cameron and Zion Poulin, and they were up to the challenge every step of the way. So we'll, we'll see if I should have listened to them or not. I, I love that. Your North Star. Uh, we shall use that this spring, Coach, when we, <laughs> we rewind to the preview show. Uh, you're playing right there at the Dollar Loan Center the week of Thanksgiving. That's kind of great, right, to get your, your guys familiar with, with the scene? Well, that's the whole idea. You know, in the past four years that I've, I've done the scheduling for UCR, most of the MTEs we've done, I, the purpose was to try to get a good mix of games but wins. You know, and this one is a challenge. All three of those are, are – all four of us, I'd say, are very, very good mid-major programs. All three of the opponents, Abilene, Christian, Wright State, Weber State, all won 20 games last year. But obviously the main purpose was to play in the arena that we're going to play the Big West Tournament. And I think – even when I was at University of San Francisco, we always made it a point to try to play in the Orleans Arena where we're going to play the conference tournament. So I think it's going to benefit us um, when we get to March. You've done this before once or twice, huh, Coach? You've done it before. I, I mean, I just my, – my mentors, Kyle Smith, David Patrick, they always said recruiting and scheduling the most important uh, things uh, to a program, basketball program. And you start Big West action at home December 29th, playing five of your first six right there at home. What makes – uh, your fans different than the rest. They were they were loud and proud uh, yeah. in Henderson this past spring. What makes them so special? Now you know what it's just been built over the last four years, and we've seen it grow, and, and it's something we're really really proud of. And I think our last game against UC Santa Barbara, unfortunately, a double double overtime loss, but it was packed. It was sold out. A lot of credit goes to Wes, our athletic director and the administration, but there is no doubt that. The pride in the program, I think it has a lot to do with winning, but also it started when we just put a good product on the floor. And these students, there's 26,000 students here, and they are looking for something to cheer for and to root for. And I think the um, UCR men's basketball team has given them something to cheer and root for the last few years. Uh, to that point, Coach, when we spoke to your director of athletics uh, this past spring, Wes was quick to point out how he likes your chances every time he hit the floor with you uh, mm -hmm. calling the shots. Your leadership style, the culture that you built from day one cannot be disputed. What is your philosophy, Coach, inside the locker room, outside the locker room? What kind of student athlete are you looking for? Well, it's a high academic university, and I actually prefer it that way. Um, I like recruiting those types of kids. I think smart wins. Um, the two things I preach in, on, in the recruiting trail and on, on when, when recruits come to visit, uh, two main things are great attitude and great work ethic. And then the very last thing is you got to really, really, really want to be here. So I can roll with those types of guys. And we've had those types of guys, um, guys that really, really want to be here and that have great attitudes and great work ethics. And I think a lot of that's to do with when you're recruiting guys that have to have a certain GPA, naturally they're going to be achievers. And for whatever reason, whether it's their parents or their family background or whether it was them individually, they try to achieve good grades. So the way our program is structured, we really play to that, that type of individual. So I believe it. I believe smart wins. I think that's how we approach every single game and every single season, utilizing our intelligence um, and executing um, because we're, we're smart. Smart wins. I love that too. I'm taking copious notes here, coach. Uh, listen, you, the, the talent, yes. Academics first in the classroom, yes. On the floor, they can hoop. Uh, but this is also an extremely tight group. You, you just got back from Australia uh, in late August playing four games, international tour. Uh, you've had some great success there, uh, right? Nine student athletes that you recruited from the region. What, 
What makes this region so special? Well, there's no doubt about that. It's been a point of difference for us. And, and it started with my predecessor, David Patrick. But we've had the most amount of Division One players from Australia and New Zealand um, over the last three years. We were able to get size from down there. It's a place that uh, we're really comfortable recruiting from. But now you're starting to see, like, we finally did break into the Southern California recruiting. And we've gotten two freshmen and three transfer backs. So I think that just having success has now allowed us to get into the California market. Hopefully this is success and people enjoy from Australia and New Zealand enjoying their time here at UCR perpetuates into um, continuing to bridge and, and, and get more recruits from that area. A common theme, Coach, is that you continue to just put your student athletes, your players in the position to succeed. Uh, you also surround yourself with very good people. Speak upon your, your staff and, and, and why you see, feel so confident every time you hit the floor. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've worked for two great mentors in Kyle Smith and David Patrick. And, they, um, and both David Patrick and Kyle Smith, are always just, I'm looking for good people. Um, somebody that parents, when they come, they see a role model for their a young man. So that's all I really look for. And then obviously you hope that they have some basketball acumen and they can recruit. And, and you got to be well-rounded in that sense. But I really, first and foremost, look for good people. Uh, not only are you a basketball coach, a leader, you're a pioneer, president and founder of the Asian Coaches Association. Uh, what does that mean to you to be uh, champion that side of the game? It's bigger than basketball, obviously. Oh, it just brings a tremendous sense of pride. And, um, you know, there's guys uh, before me that opened the door for me and, and Jeff Hiranaka and, and now Coach Eric Spolstra. My mission is just to keep the door open and and we're seeing it, you know, and being the president over the last 10 years of the Asian Coaches Association, I've grown to know every single Asian coach and you're starting to see us progress throughout the coaching world. So something I'm very proud of and success will help us all if I have success, but really all I'm trying to do is just keep the door open for the next generation. Recipient of the Rising Coaches Trailblazer Award for good reason. Uh, we look forward to this season and, and everything uh, to come. Thank you for all that you do, Coach. Thanks, Molly. Appreciate it. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Order your tickets today for the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Don't miss a minute of pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the next level. Get the best seats in the house at highlanderstickets.universitytickets.com or call 951-827-4653. The B1 Performance Patch elevates physical functions by transforming carbs into glucose used to fuel the body. Don't compete without it. Visit buyb1.com or on social media at B1Patch. Malama'aina is restoring the native forests. Reforestation is a wonderful way to give back to a place. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Sometimes faster isn't always better. Like when you're getting a tattoo. Or saying I love you on the first date. Or putting together certain Swedish furniture. But when it comes to getting in and out of the airport, faster is always better. And at Ontario International Airport, you can have the stress-free experience from the curb to the gate. It's the least we can do. The Big West is back in Las Vegas. Don't miss the 2023 Hercules Tires Big West Basketball Championships presented by the Hawaiian Islands, March 7th through the 11th at the Dollar Loan Center in Henderson, Nevada. Catch the pulse pounding action as 20 men's and women's teams battle to punch their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Get the best seats in the house at highlanderstickets.universitytickets.com or call 951-827-4653. Well, as we wrap up our look at the UC Riverside Highlanders, Richie, 
this is a team we mentioned. They've got good backcourt players, guys who have to play around the perimeter. But they also have some size that will help them inside. Yeah, I like Coach Magpio's roster because he has a lot of size. They don't have any seven-footers on the roster like they've had in years past, but they have a lot of length, a lot of six seven through six eleven guys. But uh, everybody knows in basketball, to have a chance to be really good, to be able to win a championship, you have to have great ball handlers. You have to have fantastic guard play. And those three returning players and Poland, Cameron, and Tattersall, they're one, two, and three players on, uh, around the perimeter. That's going to pay dividends. That experience right there should make them successful. It's going to be a good year, I think, for the Highlanders again. Now you see Riverside Highlanders ranking fifth in the Big West Coaches Poll. When we return, we will take a look at the fourth-ranked team in the poll. That's coming up next.